this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Today I'm going to show you my uh, rendition or version of painting poinsettias. I'm going to be doing it on this glass base and we will be using, or I will be using, uh, the uh, silver metallic paint by Folk Art. All my paint are Folk Art paints and I go back and forth between the enamels and the multi-surface. I'm using enamel glitter, that's in silver, engine red, thicket, wicker white, along with fresh foliage. The brushes I will be using today are the Fine Liner Brush by Westonia. It's a fingernail brush. One of uh, my fingernail brushes by uh, Dewberry U Pro. It's a flat brush. Number six for fingernails. Love the smaller fingernail brushes. And then a number 12 flat brush by Plaid. It's a round stroke brush. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I will be using Wicker White along with the Engine Red to create my petals for my poinsettias. Now keep in mind there are actually different colored poinsettias but for this video I'm just going to be demonstrating how I would paint the red. Alright, okay so I'm going to do my, typically I start off with one of my, one of my main petals will be in the center and this petal is just a very easy stroke just wiggle on the brush a little bit coming up on the tip and then going back down the other side I'm attempting to do between five to six petals for my poinsettias for each layer that I'm creating when I say attempting it's because sometimes I run out of room so that's why I say that. And I just wiggle it coming back. And I am going to keep turning my vase as I'm painting on it. Now, for the purpose of creating videos, I'm just using glass pieces that I have purchased in the past that have been blank with no designs on them. And I am trying to wash them off in between. So, uh, I, I like to paint on glasses, like wine glasses and such, but I have so many of them right now. I need to really concentrate on, on selling them, which I haven't been concentrating on, so that I can get back into doing that, because I really do like to paint on glasses. So these items that I'm doing right now are not something that I'm selling. It's just they're being used for the purpose of creating videos. Now if your paintbrush gets too full of paint, you know, wipe the paint off. Because that can happen. Especially when you're loading. And it's basically I'm double loading. I'm not actually throwing any other color into the, the flower besides the red and the wicker white. over it again, pull it back, and when you're painting on glass, if you're new, make sure that you do clean your glass off, you wash it, and then if you want, go to an added step and take some rubbing alcohol and wipe it off too, that would be great. The main thing with glassware is that if you, you want it clean of oils and lint and, the, and such so that the paint will adhere nicely to your glass. That will help with the <clears throat> longevity of it. I pulled in some white from that, so it, that's fine. Alright, so there I have my main petal. 
or main petal, I'm sorry, my main flower. And then I'm going to add in, so I'm going to keep this simple. And I'm just doing the front of the vase. If I were to be painting this as a home decor piece, I would go around the whole vase. This type of vase is good for not only flowers, but to put maybe a candle in, whether it's an actual one that you would light or battery operated, and have the design being painted on the glass would just be a very beautiful addition to your home decor. If you're into creating your own gifts for the holidays, you know, some of these items would just be perfect. You can pick up cheap glass where I know a lot of people talk about like the dollar stores. I don't check I don't actually I don't get out much to shop. I do most of my shopping online. But apparently you can find some really good prices at dollar stores. I happen to really like Libby Glass, and if I go out to shop, I go to a place called Old Time Pottery. They have a variety of glassware, glass items, lanterns, that kind of thing, that are beautiful and painted on too. I mean, really, any of the designs that I'm creating can be painted on any surface. It's not something that you have to paint on glass. I just happen to find glass being a, a nice item to paint on for the purpose of creating videos. Plus, I do like to paint glassware. All right, so this is just a partially open flower, not completely open, so I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm going to then just add in one more. It doesn't have to be quite the same or it can be either way as far as the design itself or the type of um, partially open. I'm not doing another open on this one. On my initial design that I created just to practice this design I did do five did two op or three open and then two partially. So on this one, if you just wanted it to be where it's totally it's closed and not really open at all, you can do that. And I think I will just for the purpose of this video, I will create it that way. It's very easy, very simple. That's what I like. My videos are supposed to be easy for everyone to be able to do them. Alright, now the next step that I did on these, well, on this will just be one. It will be the center, the biggest one. I took, and I forgot to mention this, a stylus to do dotting with and went in and dotted into the center. Now there's quite a bit of paint wet paint in the center right now so it may not adhere or it will adhere but um, look as clean as it would be if it was completely dry. So if you're doing this or recreating this you can you know, hit it with a, a heat gun hair dryer dry that center some so that you get more of a crisper center. Again, for my purpose here, I'm just going to keep it. Now this isn't working very well, but the glitter I'm just kind of randomly putting, not really trying to get it to be uh, nice and an actual circle. I'm just tapping it in, and then I'll come back in with my white. And you can keep layering this, and again, allowing it more drying time would be helpful. But just so you get the gist, it's just making a pretty center, but just doing some dotting. <clears throat> but you can get more in, you know, with the with that uh, glitter 
silver glitter if you allow more drying time. Oops, that's not good. Okay. And I'm just going to go back over with my metallic. And that's why I say you can see where you'd be at an advantage if you allowed it drying time. But you can make it work even if it's wet on wet. I think that's a pretty center. It will do. Now, on my other, or my example that I did, which you didn't see, but it's my sample that I created. Actually, I want to wait. <clears throat> I'm going to go in and do the, the leaves that I created for this instead of doing that. Now, I'm trying to get into the new way to load your brushes, and I keep putting my paint, loading my paint in correctly on my plate. new for me and it's probably not new but I really haven't been keeping up with a lot of the painting trends I'm just really kind of getting back into painting again which I missed tremendously I love painting all right <clears throat> enough about that so I'm going to go up here I hate that to be so thick and then I'm just going to pull in because I have to connect my flower to the stem. So I want to just, I'm just pulling on these. Just pulling them. If you want more darkness in, then you turn your brush around and add, add more of the dark in. The way, you're, you, the way you lead with your brush determines what color shows up. And then I want to go ahead and put some more green in here. Right, and then I'm going to go over here and do the same thing. Now I am putting a little wicker white into this. It just helps with the opaqueness of the of the paint. So there's basically three colors on this. I keep my brush keeps getting so full of paint. Some people are really good about painting with their brush full of paint, but I just have a heck of a time with it. And again, I'm going to turn it around, and give it some more darkness into it. And I'll just leave it at that. I'm just going to pretend like that's going behind it, so I'm not even going to put a little branch there or a little. Um, stem. Alright, so the next part that I'm going to do right now is to paint in the leaves. And you can do, this is kind of a typical, but oh, I got enough darker green on here. I don't think I do. This is kind of a more typical poinsettia leaf where you do that and then you end up on a point and then I typically will then turn it so that I have I'm going to make sure my the dark is on the outside and I'm going to come up and come up on a point and then come through here pull it or you can have the darker part of it you know, like that all right, and then we're going to go keep doing it. And you can stick with this style of leaf if you choose to do so. I'm just going to put it up on its on the chisel edge. And then like that. Pull it in like that. See how pretty that is? It's very simple. So again, I gotta scrape some of this paint off. 
probably if I used a bigger plate, I'm just using a small, like, salad plate, dessert plate style. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing down here. I like to bunch my leaves in twos. But you can do more than two if you want, or just one. Okay, so I'm just going to wiggle it up to a point, and there you go. And then I like to make sure I have the darker green coming in so you can see it better coming through. And then go to do another one. That. Simple, simple. thing of it is if you create your own Christmas gifts this year or for as many people as you can if you have a big Christmas list you know you really will make something special <clears throat> in addition excuse me in addition to having something that is very affordable There's just a lot of different surfaces you can paint on. You don't have to paint on glass, that's why I said. I just want to reiterate that because I don't want everybody to think that that's the only thing you can paint these designs on. And yes, I use this paint. So, you know, some of it is multi-surface, but I use it. Even the enamels I have used on um, walls, paper. I mean, any surface would. I just didn't, I never limited it to just glass. All right, so here we go. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know why I've got such a frog in my throat today. Just imagine how pretty this is with a light in it. You can just see it in my thoughts. Alright, so so far this is what we've got. And now, like with these, I always like to cover these up a little bit. You can do, you know, you're not limited to doing this kind of, of leaf with this plant. It's okay to put in some other ones. So I will come in here with my basic little one-stroke leaf. And put that in there. And you can just leave it with the two. I'm just very lightly touching in. Or you could even pull down another one like this. Kind of go on over the main flower. And I just think it's important not to be afraid to overlap. You really, I know some people are afraid to do that, but think about it. When you're making a flower arrangement, or if you see a flower arrangement, <clears throat> Things are overlapping all the time in nature. I'm going to go over here and do the same over here. Just keeping it simple. I might just stick with two there. Or I can even pull, pull one out here. Yeah, just to add to the design. Like that. <clears throat> and if you want, you can I'm trying to think if this would be pretty with well, I'm just gonna do one to show you. If you wanted to do something that kind of sprouted up like over this way. And then you wanted to, sorry, I want to make sure I'm getting, you know, pull in some leaves that direction. Little filler flowers, or leaves, I'm sorry. Keep 
doing it here. And just pull them in. If you need to clean up the little stem again, you can. You know, it's just pretty. You know, filler, you don't have to have <clears throat> the same kind of, like I said, the same kind of leaves through the whole design. If you want, you can even add a little bit more white onto that. Still doing it. That's why I'm pulling them in, pulling them in, pulling them in. I think I like them with a little bit of white on them. Honestly, you could be a little bit neater, like so, with touching that the center thing than what I am being. Or a smaller brush even would be nice. I'm just going to go through and clean it up like that. Maybe I'll go back through here and add some light onto the tips. That way they show up a little bit more too. If you really look at it, it shows up a little bit more. That's when you're painting, just stand back and take a look at it. Is it, you know, is it ending up looking the way you want it to look? You know, you can fill it in more. It doesn't have to be barren or with, you know, openings. You can have more of a, you know, it filled in more if you want. Or you can have it open. Just really, really depends on what you're looking for. And if, you know, you're looking at it and you think, oh, you know what, I think it needs a little more of this, add it. Go for it. You know, go for that look, whatever look you're looking for. Like I said, I think it's pretty. Just like that. And I think I'm going to leave it at that. Alright. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I did forget a couple things here. I'm sorry about that. Gonna end it, and I thought, oh, I forgot something. Now, <clears throat> this is something you can either do or leave out. I love my little long liner brush. It is just awesome to come in and add some detail. Again, this isn't necessary. You don't have to do it. It's just something I am adding to it. But I like when it, you know, pulls more of a whimsical center for you. And that gives it a little bit of, I don't know, more style, more interest into your design. Very easy to do. Like I said, this brush, I absolutely love. If you've seen any of my other videos when I've used it. I... I've never been able to do this kind of stuff around a flower so easily until I discovered these brushes. Alright, you could even come to this one that's partially opened. You know, I'm looking at these, probably maybe I shouldn't be looking at it like that. I'm looking at these as if it's the behind of them, the back side, and this is more of the inside. Now these, the way they're flipping down, could be more of the inside style, so I'm going to add some to that. This one, maybe a little bit, but I'm not going to concentrate on it too much because it is, the leaf is over it. So let's look at this one over here. The only one over here that I really feel might have the inside part going forward is this one. So I will do that since it's just, it's not open. Now with the little smaller brush, I can go in here and I'm just putting just the engine rod on it. So it has just the engine rod. And if you want, because this is the back side, you can just do little, try not to get into the green because it is still wet, but do some little I don't know what these are called. Just pulling up some red. This little pull, pull kind of um, 
strokes. And that one I'm not going to do because that's more of the top of it. But you can do that. I guess that's just to give it some more interest. Not even I'm not even really considering this shading, which it could be looked at as shading, I guess. I was just doing that. And then let's, let's look over here. What do we consider being the back side? It would be like these. Got a little bit too much probably. And then just pulling them up onto the back side. Maybe not even all the way, just a little bit. Just keeping it simple. This is not a requirement by any means. So if you like it just fine without doing this part, leave it. Leave it be. Alright, so now I am done. Okay, so here we go. Poinsettias. Start off the holiday season. Sorry, I know it's just the beginning of November. But if you're anything like me, I am trying to get my Christmas shopping done and enjoy the holiday. Alright, so if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up, please. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I post something new. If you would please share my video with your subscribers, hit that, uh, I'm sorry, hit that share button underneath the video. It's very easy to share on your social networks with your family and friends. I would appreciate it very much. And thanks again for stopping by my channel. Until the next time, I will see you then. Have a good one.